Hi everyone, happy new year. I haven't filmed in about a week, so it feels really good to be sitting down and filming. I'm just going to be doing my makeup. I'm getting ready, but I'm not getting ready for anything. I'm probably just gonna lay in bed after this. But I wanted to film a get ready with me to chat about things relative to the new year and things that I've been up to and just you know, whatever's on my mind. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get started with the makeup. I'm going to take my MAC strobe cream. I am going to be mentioning the products in this video. I don't love the scent of the MAC strobe cream. It reminds me of something weird. Like it just has like a weird memory associated with it. I I don't know, it's weird. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. Um, NARS was recently giving Ulta employees an extra discount, so I picked this up. I'm using the shade Barcelona. I am going to apply it with my fingers though, because through like any like NARS training that I've gotten through Ulta, they've always said to apply the foundations with your fingers but I hate that like I hate it but when I used this foundation for the first time it was like a lot like it was really really full coverage and almost like just too much it looked really pretty on the skin but it was a lot so I'm going to yeah I'm going to I don't know I don't usually apply things with my fingers Plus, I only have one hand right now. But for New Year's, me and my friends rented a house. Well, it was actually two homes in Murphy, North Carolina. And we stayed there for like two days. We went on New Year's Eve and then we stayed all of New Year's Day and then we left um, the next day. But it was so nice seeing my friends. If you guys don't know this, I really don't have many friends at all. Um, like where I live I obviously have my boyfriend and I have my family so I'm never like lonely and I also have really amazing work friends um, but like you know I don't see my work friends outside of work because we are with each other at work and we're working you know I feel like I have to go over this with a brush I think like on the camera it looks okay but it's making me nervous that like it's gonna be weird but basically like the only friends that I really have are the ones that I made in high school but you know I'm 23 now like my friends from high school like live kind of all over the place so we don't see each other very often and we haven't like rented something or done something like this in so long probably since like we graduated high school and a lot of us just graduated college so this was really great. Um, I met my friend Jasmine's boyfriend for the first time. I'm next taking the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I am taking the shade Medium 1.5 Macadamia. But my boyfriend Justin came with us and we just all had a really good time. We went to the casino. I lost like $60 but it's okay, I still had a good time. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about that $60 I lost. I'm just thinking about the good time I had. I'm gonna go over all of this with a beauty blender. I just like, I don't know. I feel really weird about how my makeup is sit like sitting on my skin right now. I'm just going to dust my face with the NARS Light Reflecting Pressed Powder. But the houses that we stayed in was really nice. Each couple got their own room which was really awesome usually it doesn't work out that way and everyone got their own bed which is really great and i think that we're looking for something similar to stay at like at the beach this summer which i really hope that we can do because i really miss my friends when i don't see them you know i'm pretty introverted though and if you're also introverted you know that you can see like a friend of yours hang out with them for a chunk of time and then like feel the need to be by yourself for a long time. That's very much me. I pulled you guys in just a little bit closer for me to do my eyeshadow. And I think I am going to take a little bit of the concealer that I used and apply and use it kind of just as like a primer. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Zoeva Matte Palette and it just looks like this. It's all matte, but it's actually kind of funny because my boyfriend and I, this was the first New Year's that we spent together as like a couple like as boyfriend and girlfriend however 
one New Year's, I think it was uh, my freshman year of college, we spent together as like an item, like we were like talking. And then the second year we weren't like talking or anything, but we still were at the same place and we still were together at the end of the night. The third year I was in Israel, so I wasn't in America. But then the year after that, so last year, we were together again. We were a little bit more serious at this point. And then a few months later, he asked me to be his girlfriend. So this year was the first year that we uh, were uh, like officially dating, which I think is kind of cute. Hopefully from here on out, we'll always be together on New Year's. And I do think if I was in America for New Year's, that one year I was in Israel, we probably would have been together that year as well. But I did make a couple of New Year's resolutions or just like goals that I want to work towards or habits that I want to be more like conscious of and apply to my everyday life. I actually started a brand new bullet journal for 2020. Um, if you didn't know this about me, I do bullet journal. I did a month at a glance type Thing. And then I made a future log. The only thing I have in right here now is my New York trip in February where I am going to meet my friend Courtney for the first time. I'm really excited. And also the Glossier pop-up is happening in Atlanta in February and I am absolutely going to be there. Like I am going to take a little road trip to Atlanta with two of my friends, at least two right now, maybe more. And we are going to go to the Atlanta pop-up because it is as close as a pop-up has been to Charlotte, so we are absolutely going. I am so excited. I really, really hope that Glossier comes out with a bomb.com peach flavored for Atlanta. That would be so good. I, I could see them absolutely nailing that. And then I made a 2020s goal list, like just habits and things I want to be mindful of. And then I have like a finance goals and then I have a YouTube goals. So for my daily habits that I want to get into, I want to floss daily. I really want to be one of those people who flosses every day. Your oral health is linked to so much. So I really want to be one of those people that flosses daily, so I'd like to start that up. And then another thing that I have on my daily habits list is I really want to be better about doing lash and brow treatments. Um, I am really good about doing this over the summertime. I don't know why I let myself go in the winter, but I just feel, I guess, comfortable not taking extra care of myself in this winter. That's not to say that I don't take care of myself in other ways, like I eat really well all the time and you know, I shower every day, whatever. But I feel like in the summertime, I'm like way more into my physical appearance than I am in the winter time. And I would just like to not be in the habit of that because it is important for me to look good. And I always say, or my mom has always said, and I say now that if you look good, you feel good. And I would just like to take that extra time at night to do a quick lash and brow treatment. I am using castor oil right now. I just started, obviously, for the new year. Um, in the past, Rapid Lash has worked really, really well for me, but I'm using castor oil now because it's so much cheaper. And then another daily habit I would like to get into is putting my phone away before bed and not having like my screen be the last thing that I see before bed, or I guess at least putting my phone away a few minutes before bed, like 10 minutes before bed or something. I did that one time a really long time ago, like I had still worked at Chipotle at this point, and I tried doing that and I swear I got the best leap when I did that. And then I also have like a weekly habits that I would like to get into. One of them is I would like to take Wilma on a walk. It would more so be a walk for myself because Wilma does not walk. She has her own stroller. She actually doesn't know how to walk on a leash properly. Like she's been on a leash before. She's cool about being on a leash. She doesn't like chew her leash or anything but like she just doesn't know how to walk on a leash. Like if I am walking one way, she wants to walk the other direction. And she's six pounds, so it's so much easier for me to just pick her up. But I did buy her a stroller and we use the stroller a lot over the summer. But again, back to it being winter time and just not, you know, taking care of myself as much. I would like to go on a walk, one, for health, and two, just to get myself outside, get Wilma outside, 
and yeah so I would like to take Wilma on a walk another thing that kind of ties into taking care of myself physically is I would like to do a weekly mask a weekly skincare mask I am actually really bad about doing this all year round which kind of sucks because I have so many skincare masks like I don't know why I have so many if I'm hardly ever using them but I do I have a ton for my eyelids I'm actually taking one of these hourglass scattered lights glitter eyeshadows and this is in the shade ray I got this in a little like trio holiday trio from Sephora I actually got a ton of it on my brush and I'm hoping just to get a good bit of it on my eyes and then blend it out with my fingers I just can't dip into the pot with my fingers because my fingernails are too long but yeah I would like to get into doing like a weekly beauty mask one to just go through the ones that I have and then also to literally take better care of my skin another thing that I have for a weekly habit that I would want to work on is to eat less meat um, I'm already pretty good about this. My family overall doesn't eat a ton of meat. We were eating a good bit of meat when my dad wanted to try keto, which then made all of us have to eat meat because, you know, I'm not making dinner for myself. Oh yeah, here, here it is. The intensity that we needed. So yeah, I would like to eat less meat. I put that on the weekly habits because I don't plan on going completely meatless there's so many dishes that i love so much that do have meat in it and i do really believe that if you just make small changes they'll turn into big changes and if everyone made small changes they would turn into big changes so yeah i would just like to be more conscious of the amount of meat that i eat i guess i don't eat it for every meal but just be more conscious like if i maybe had some bacon for breakfast i maybe won't have meat for lunch or dinner or if I ate meat yesterday maybe I don't eat meat today you know so just trying to be a little bit more conscious of how often I'm eating meat and when I have it and all of that good stuff and then the other weekly habit or weekly goal that I have written down is I would like to do more like at home workouts um, nothing crazy I am not into a whole lot of physical movement but I do want to get back into the habit of doing like squats before bed or like crunches or just something something to like get my heart rate up just a little bit um, I noticed when I was doing just like 50 squats a day for a few weeks I noticed my legs um, getting stronger so I want to just do that again and then maybe I'll go into something a little bit more intense but I just want to start out small. I'm not someone who does a whole lot physically, so. This scattered light shade is actually really pretty. For my brows, I'm just going to use the Anastasia Brow Powder. And then so far, I just have two kind of goals I would like to do for my, like, monthly habits. And one is to read a book a month. So I want to have read 12 books by the end of the year. I used to be such... A reader like I loved reading so so much I would fly through books but within the past few years I really haven't and I read a book like here and there I did read a book over the summer but I really want to get back into reading it would be really amazing if I did end up reading more than 12 books this year but I really do want to commit to just like one book a month I feel like it's absolutely doable especially with me not being in school anymore I still want to use um, you know my brain a bit especially now that I can read for actual pleasure and stuff and then the other like monthly goal or monthly habit that I have is to do um, a big purge a month so whether that is like one month I purge out my closet or another month I purge my makeup collection or even that could be like technology so one month maybe I set aside a couple hours to go through like photos on my phone and delete photos that I don't need or like you know whatever just something I want to do each month so that maybe at the end of the month I have less clutter and I feel really good about the items that I own so yeah I think that'll be really good for me I'm just going to use my Glossier Boy Brow to set my brows and then I also have like a little section in my bullet journal for like mindfulness this year, like mindfulness goals. And one of my goals is to 
start treating myself a little bit better mentally. I think sometimes I'm a little bit too hard on myself, whether that's about like my looks or my body or my personality. Sometimes I think like I'm annoying, I think I'm being annoying to other people, and then sometimes I look at my body and I really don't feel good about what I see or my face. I look in the mirror sometimes and really don't like what I see. I'm like too nitpicky about my skin and stuff. Um, so I really would like to focus a little bit more on treating myself better and thinking more highly of myself. And that's not to say I don't have good confidence. I really do. Like, And I'm overall very happy with the way that I look and how my body looks. And, you know, I'm overall very happy, but we all do this. We can all get into like a negative mindset and like negative space on how we view ourselves. So I just want to be more mindful of that and to avoid that because I would just like to treat myself better. I deserve to be treated better by myself, you know? I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to use the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralize Skin Finish. Another thing that I want to work on is stop worrying about what if situations. Um, I never really talk about this honestly like with anyone because I don't like talking about it because I feel like I'm gonna like manifest it or whatever but I am constantly worrying about the possibilities of bad things happening if I don't hear back from my family members for an X amount of time I think that something horrible happened to them or if I'm out all day and I haven't seen Wilma I will start worrying like oh my god something bad happened to her like she got sick or something and I just like worry about it. I'm going to use this blush from Pacifica. This is in the shade Wild Rose. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is so so pretty. But yeah I just worry way too much or like if my boyfriend leaves my house late at night and he doesn't text me um, when he gets home I'm like oh my god he like something happened to him on his way home. I I'm just worrying so much and I feel like I worry more and more as I get older but I need to stop worrying I need to realize that anything that happens is just out of my control and I was watching a Rob Beauty Christie video one time and she said something along the lines of like if you're worrying about something bad happening and something bad actually happens then you have worried about it twice and I do think about that from time to time of course it doesn't really help me worrying about it, but it's definitely something to think about because if something bad really did happen and I spent so much time worrying about it happening and feeling bad about it possibly happening and it actually happened then that means I felt these very strong emotions twice and that's not good for anybody you know me worrying about things that are out of my control is not benefiting anybody in the slightest. For my highlight, I'm using the Honest Beauty Luminizing Glow Powder in Midnight Reflection. They sent over the highlight powders to me and they are so beautiful. And then just another thing that I would like to be more mindful of is to notice like anxiety triggers. I also feel like as I'm getting a little bit older, I am starting to feel more anxious in like a lot of situations or just like things that I think about make me anxious. I remember being in high school and um, you know like my mom has anxiety. I think my sister can deal with anxiety sometimes. I've grown up with friends that had anxiety and I went through high school like literally not feeling anything like that at all and almost being like unable to relate to people who feel those sorts of things it wasn't like on purpose or I didn't think like badly of it or anything it just I literally didn't understand what they were talking about or how they could feel that way but as I'm getting older I notice myself feeling more anxious in a lot of different situations so I just want to be more mindful of what exactly is triggering it because sometimes I'll just start feeling anxious and have no freaking idea why. And then I also just have a couple of finance goals. I don't want to hold a balance on my credit cards. I got in the habit, especially at the end of the month, like Christmas time, I was holding a little bit of a balance on all three of my credit cards. Um, so yeah, I just want to be better about not holding a balance on any of them 
and I do want to do more mindful spending. Um, I did want to do a no buy, but I have bought a couple of things. I am still being mindful of what I have purchased, which I think is just what I'm going to do. So yeah, no balance on my credit cards and I want to be a more mindful spender. And then also a group of people that I work with are starting a saving challenge and I am involved in it. We are going to save, I think it's $13,000 by the end of the year. And I will put up a little thing of like the chart that we're going to be following. It's like every week we put in $10 into a savings account or like it goes up $10 each week. But this morning after work, I had a 5 a.m. shift at work. It was a little rough. But this morning after work, I went to Wells Fargo and I opened up an additional savings account specifically for this challenge. So I definitely feel motivated to do it. And especially since I'm doing it with a group of people that I work with, I definitely feel like we can all like motivate each other and support each other and remind each other and hold each other accountable. I feel like this mascara is so clumpy. So I do have a savings account already and it does have some money in it, but I wanted like a separate savings account just for this challenge specifically because I feel like I would be more likely to stick with it if this savings account was only for this challenge and it would be really cool to have $13,000 by the end of the year. And I'm taking the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in Salted Caramel. I went nuts on Bite Beauty's website when they were doing like 70% off or something for Black Friday. And then I do have YouTube goals. One of my goals is to have 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I do think is possible. It would just be double the amount that I have now, especially with the amount of growth I've seen in just six months. It, this has been crazy, like absolutely insane. I also would like to have two uploads a week. This is Wilma's cat. We're trying to find a home for this little guy, but no one wants him. Except Wilma. Wilma loves him. And I don't know when this is going to happen. Even if it doesn't happen this year, I'm not going to be upset about it. It's not something that I'm like actively working on right now, but I would possibly like to have a small merch launch. I do have some ideas and I've gotten a sample of something. But yeah, that is just something that I am thinking about for this year, but maybe not this year, who knows, I don't know. To set my face, I am going to use the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Look, Wilma, oh my god, she's nuts. She never pants, she never pants. Also, doesn't she kind of look like a little boy with her blue pajamas? I am not trying to put colors on gender, but she kind of does look like a little boy, doesn't she? Look, aren't these little cuties, little cuties? Also, last week I posted eight videos in a row for Veronica. If you hadn't gotten a chance to watch those yet, it would be a really great opportunity to binge those. I will leave a playlist of my 2019 Veronica vlogs videos down below. It has like get ready with me's, my boyfriend's in a video, my sister's in a video. There's a whole video about Wilma on there. There's a room tour in there. Definitely binge those videos if you haven't watched them yet. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.